Hello, I hope you're fine. My name is Tikafi. I'm an artist painter since 2004. I would like to share with you my art, endurance art. It's about the challenges that any of us could face at a given moment in time. Today, I would like to share with you some works which are in the cultural research category of folkloric works in the endurance series, and also some works that's about the narration of the gallop a series of works made on the gallop and their narration. So let me start with this one. This is inspired from a photo that was narrating a story about Toranef, the story of the beast of Savius, an Alpine community in Europe. So this picture here it shows the challenges that these people faced in regards to the mountain the precipice and how they built a walkway a road using tools like wood there is a wood structure there is a water and the massive the blocks of rocks mountains this rhythmic image here where it's here made in its form of uh, artistic exaggeration it's a wooden structure that we saw uh, just now but in its artistically exaggerated form so this is the beast of Savius to bring into focus uh, the interest into this wood wooden structure that helped make the walkway which was disconnected with mountains and the precipice. It was in the 15th century that they constructed uh, these uh, walkways, the Toranef, and we can see that uh, with the block of uh, rocks, water, the background of the full summer sky, and the, the walkway here. This wooden structure is very interesting and I was so attracted to it because it has a special feature that's why I also made it into this uh, in a small format the wooden structure jutting out so this is to tell the story folkloric but also the level of challenge they had that's integrated into this painting here in small form but repetitive to give rhythmical effect. So these are some of the folkloric endurance paintings that I had been working uh, for some years. There are other themes also. But one thing which is uh, at the beginning of my artistic uh, journey, for example, in the years 2004-05, I have some works, which is the Gallup series. The it can be interpreted into the different uh, meanings. For example, it could be our aim or something that, that interests us and that the way it takes uh, to arrive for this goal. So it's a gallop of different um, level of interpretation. So the first one that was made, it was a um, big sized uh, painted on paper. Actually, it's in the collection of the National Museum of Ethiopia. I have it here in a small catalog. I'd like to show you. This is the head of the horse galloping towards the front. We can see the front legs here, the two the ends of the foot. In the background, originally it was the grass and the wind and the sand which was blowing, but in the art I put red and black colors to show the power of the gallop horses because they have lots of energy and the muscles are moving so i put it in red and uh, black so we can see the head of the horse and the eyes here perhaps some people tell me uh, it's a bit abstract but uh, i wanted it to be <laughs> like this so I continued this series of paintings in the Gallop series. For example, this one here, there it is. It's big size, so 
Yes, we'll be able to see it more clearly. The gallop. Different features, lines, and color contrast with background, the force of the muscles, which is interesting. I have also some big sized works that are uh, big sized horses with uh, alpine structure, background of mountain and uh, water uh, f foreground. Foreground is water and the background is the alpine mountain. I hope we'll be able to see it. As I told you last time, it's just that water backgrounds means the challenges moving water is the challenges that we have. The Gallup series, I was working on these uh, forms of horse structures and horse itself. This one, for example, there are different uh, emotions going on, different um, forms. There is the representation of human beings running in the gallop the challenges, the different activities in the life. There is also dichotomy, but also pulling apart. The horse is galloping in the other direction. And then I put the cat here. I like cats and usually they like to roll on their backs, massaging and also like to play with the ball. So it's just to dialogue and also put the cat there. So these are uh, some of the gallop series, but then uh, the horses, sometimes they are used by human beings. Horses are used to perform activities which are not uh, to be promoted. That's to say, for example, uh, I have a work titled Stop Abduction. That's, uh, for example, the abduction of young girls for marriage, especially, for example, in the countryside. Uh, I have a work that says stop abduction or rebellion that's to say uh, people use the horse for abduction and then in this painting the horse is saying stop that's rebellion uh, i would like to show you this work so this is the work titled stop abduction horse uh, re rebellion we can see that there is a foreground with the muscle, foreground with the, with the front legs of the horse. And because their neck is full of muscles, the neck is moving. This one is the head. The head here, the neck, the neck is moving in rebellion, saying stop abduction. This is more in blue colors, a horse refusing in the activity of abduction saying stop, so rebellion. So these are some of the works that I've been working on since uh, many years now with the different uh, inspirations that lead to different research working in the artistic means. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Next time we'll talk about some of the landscapes. It could be inspired from different uh, sites and um, I hope to see you in the next video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please go to the website to see more works. Degafesart.com or Instagram page kdegafe. I'll be happy to hear from you. Your feedbacks are important. I always believe uh, that art is in each one of us. It's the expression which is different. So thank you again. Uh, stay safe. Bye.